All right, we will call to order the Summersworth Historic District Committee meeting for Wednesday, June 26th. First on the agenda, approval of prior meeting minutes for May 22nd, 2024 workshop and May 22nd, 2020, 2024 regular meeting minutes. Do we have any changes or edits to uh, the minutes? Richard. On the meeting minutes, the page seven, the fourth paragraph, they use my first name instead of my last name. So just seem to be inconsistent and just makes sense <coughs> to me move it to Brooks instead of Richard. Page seven. Yep. All right. Any other changes or conversation? Any motions? I'll make a motion to accept them as presented with that one edit. All right. We have a motion to accept with one change. Do we have a second? We have a second from George. All right. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those opposed? All right, the motion passes. Next on the agenda, projects of minimal impact report. Michelle. I need to find it in my packet. <laughs> Do you guys have one? I don't have one in my, okay, sorry. I don't have one in here. All right, projects of minimal impact. 53 Mount Vernon Street in the residential single family. Um, a district, uh, historic overlay district, assessor's map 11, lot 11, application for in-kind repairs to the siding, trim, and roof was approved in 3 Emory Street in the residential single family, A, R1, AH district, assessor's map 13, lot 4, uh, was approved for roof uh, mounted solar. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Next on the agenda, public comments by visitors. If any visitors at this time would like to come up and just make any comments, please do so now. Seeing there is none, we will move on to old business. Any old business that may become before the commission tonight? Any old business? All right, seeing there is none, we will move on to new business. First on the agenda, we have Dina Dina Wilford is seeking a certificate of appropriateness to install a projecting sign on a property located at 45 Market Street. Michelle. Yes, thank you. Um, the applicant is requesting to ins install a projecting sign made of PVC. The sign will be installed on the existing brackets at the location. Um, the HDC shall accept this application as complete. Uh, you did receive some information about past historic applications and uh, you can review the application. All right. Do we have anybody who is representing this project? Do you want to come up and explain anything else or? Okay. All right, if we have questions, we'll have you come up, but otherwise we'll just have a discussion. All right, I will open this up to comments or questions from the board. George? I'll just say uh, this is pretty cut and dry. You know, I have no problem with this. So. All right, thank you, George. Paul, did I see your hand? Yeah. Okay, Paul. It's, there's three, I'm seeing three signs in the packet. I think, well, obviously one is the prior tenant um, for 45 Market Street Bakery. One is Chiquita's, Ch Chonita's Market. And one is via tortilla, for tortilla, tor uh, which one? Which one are we approving here? Just that. So, if you look at the the markup, it looks like the projecting sign is the Chonitas Chonitas uh, market from the projection sign, but it looks like the Vitas tortillas is in the oh, window. Oh, I see. I see. Got yes. it. Okay, sorry. So, point of clarification, I don't know that we have to approve the window sign as long as 
it isn't covering too much stuff, right? That's what Tim says, as long as it's not covering X number of percentage of the window, we don't have any authority over the window to claim. That's why the projecting sign is what's on the application. Okay, sorry, she just gave us pictures, as, as Paul pointed out, of three different signs. Yeah. Um, so I guess I have a question. Is the sign, I appreciate, I appreciate the graphics. So the sign is going to look exactly like what you have given us, which is the Chun Yi Chun Yi market. market. Okay, so that's what the sign is going to look like. And okay. actually, I'm going to have you come up to answer just because those at home can't hear you, okay. <laughs> and just make sure the green light is on. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, yes, it's exactly the way that it's shown there. This is Chun Yi's market, and it's going to be just hanging like it was before, in the same spot as the previous. Welcome to town, by the way. Thank you. I don't have any issues with this. I, I make a motion we approve it as submitted. I like the fact that they gave us graphics with exactly what it's supposed to look like and exactly where it's going to be. I, I think it's great. Second. Can you not hear us? Sorry, I, I make a motion that is accepted as it's written. I'm grateful for all of the presentation and that you gave us exactly what it's going to look like and exactly where it's going to go. I'm excited for your business in town. I can't wait for you to open. Thank you so much. I'll second that motion. All right, we have a um, proposal to accept as presented. We have a second. Uh, any further discussion? Seeing there is none, for all those in favor, please say aye. 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 For all those opposed, please say Seeing there is none, the motion passes, and yes, welcome to town. We're all very excited. Thank you so much. Next on the agenda, Inf Inflection Point Investments LLC is seeking a certificate of appropriateness to relocate a stone retaining wall located at 73 Noble Street. Michelle. Yes, thank you. The applicant is re requesting to relocate an existing stone wall uh, it's a retaining wall and proposing to reconstruct the wall with uh, existing materials to the extent practical and possible. If new materials are required, the proposed material would be of similar characteristics and qualities of the existing. Uh, this, please note this property was previously known as 15 Rochester Street. Um, the HDC should uh, vote that this application is complete. <laughs> All right, thank you, Michelle. And I'll just have you state your names for the record first, and then please tell us more about the project. Sure, thank you. <clears throat> um, my name is Kevin McEnany. I'm representing uh, Inflection Point this evening. We prepared the plans for the project. Uh, and my name is Tyler Allen. I'm a member of the LLC. So, um, as Michelle said, <clears throat> this is come before you because we're looking to, there's an existing retaining wall. Uh, this is a three unit house here on uh, Noble Street, and then there's also frontage on Emory Street back here. This plan shows a proposed subdivision, which is before the planning board now. I wanted to bring this to you so you could see the whole project, what's going on. So this existing three unit is going to be converted to condominiums, which I have the plans of for that too. That's also at the planning board. But there's an existing uh, retaining wall right here that's approximately three and a half feet high. Mm -hmm. It's made out of solid cut granite slabs if you will we're going to reuse that material we need to adjust this lot line so that we have sufficient room to drive around um, to add pavement and parking in that area so uh, that's the reason for adjusting the wall so the wall is going to follow the new lot line and we're going to reuse the existing material and reconstruct it almost as is um, there are no trees at all within the area that we're constructing. It's all lawn area. I think you can see I've, I've sent several pictures along, and you can see what the, what the wall looks like and, uh, and that there are no trees that are going to be disturbed. So uh, with that, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Perfect. I will open it to the board, and I saw Paul's hand first. Thank you. Um, I guess I, I would say uh, at a very high level, I have no problem with relocating the wall as long as historic materials are used and it's installed properly. I guess my one caveat to the logic that was presented to us is that you have a straight line retaining wall and your your retaining wall is not going to jog, which makes me assume that you're going to need more material than the historic wall has. So you're going to have to bring in some new granite. Is that right? Yes. And, and it'll, it'll match what's there. 
uh, there's, there's quite a bit of that available yeah, even right. reclaimed. You know, as reclaimed, right, yeah. exactly. Okay. And it's what will be about the approximately the same height. It's fairly level above the wall, so the elevations are not going to change. It's just going to move back uh, probably 15 feet, I think. All right. Richard, I think I saw your hand. So uh, just curious, is this all one property now being subdivided into three lots? It is. It's all one. And so you just, you're creating a new lot line, but that, going to push the wall back to give this lot more than what's on their side of the wall. That's correct. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, yeah, again, I see no problem, especially if you're bringing in the same material to for any additional material. Uh, I believe this is a, this isn't set in mortar. This is just stacked. It's just dry laid. And it's yes. still going to be the same stack. Same thing, no, no mortar, mortar use. I, it seems like the dry stack stuff seems to hold up better like it drains better yes. i guess i don't i'm not a mason so i don't know this but just i see a lot of them that have mortar that seem to go into disrepair quickly so yeah, it's a very attractive wall right now yep. and, and so many walls are up on the hill so i thank you for trying to construct the same thing again and certainly appreciate that um, just a quick question. You mentioned that the main uh, three-unit house is going to be subdivided into condos. That's not part of this application. Will that be coming before us, just for curiosity's sake? Uh, I don't believe it's required. Because okay, because you're not changing the exterior in any no, way? No, no exterior changes, okay. and all the existing interior walls are there now, including the kitchens and the bathrooms. They're rental units now, so there's no changes on Perfect. the inside. Perfect. All right. And I mimic the other me board members i'm very happy to see that this wall even if it is shifting over it's still going to be there you're going to mimic the height that it was at um you know maybe a little bit different but not much um you're just literally relocating it so i'm very happy to see you did not come with let's get rid of it right um i'm happy to hear you're going to use the same material if needed more which most likely you will um is there any thought where i think that it's a little bit taller at some areas and then it kind of staggers down is that kind of the thought that it's going to do that as it goes back into the property or are you going to maintain a, a consistent height do you happen to know we're going to keep that taper because okay. it, it tapers it falls slightly the, t the topo falls slightly this way so it's higher up on this end and lower on that end we're going to keep the same taper and basically the same grade that's above Perfect. the wall now okay that was my only question any others kim so i guess i have a future question maybe i'm, I'm beyond the purview but this is now you're hoping to make it into three parcels that's right so are is this company keeping three parcels or are you subdividing it and you're going to sell them off and so potentially we have someone else come before us not liking this wall or wanting to address this wall in the future the um the three units when they converted the condominiums they will uh have a have a homeowners association and a condominium uh, uh, association and so the wall itself will be on that particular lot. So the other two lots will really have no say over that wall at all. Okay. So now, it's not a boundary line. On the, it's, yeah, the boundary line is at the back side of the wall. Okay. Uh, but there, to your question of whether or not they're going to build or sell, we, they haven't made that decision yet. But wh whoever comes in with houses up here, and we know that we realize they have to be single family, and we realize they have to come back before this board. Okay, and so are you doing, so you're doing a condo association, so presumably part of that is fees to maintain the wall and maintain the property? Yes. And that is going to be written into the condo association, the bylaws that the wall is to be maintained? Yes, and that we can add that to that. We'll make a note of that. We'll add that. The um, planning board and the city attorney is going to review the condominium documents, so we'll make sure we add that as part of it. Okay, I, I would ask, I don't know if we can ask, I'd like to see those two. Can we ask that they come before the board just to make sure the wall's maintained? I don't believe that's in our purview, but we would have code enforcement have to go if it is not. I don't know that we can weigh in on their documentation of that. Okay. okay. I have nothing further. I'm glad you're using the same materials. I'm glad you're keeping the same grade. You're not cutting it down. You're not changing the wall shape. You're just literally moving it backwards. That's right. Great. Richard? I'd <clears throat> just like to thank you for addressing that we've had other properties in town where it seems to be a debate who owns the wall so clearing that up ahead of time is just good for the future yeah we purposely did that because obviously the wall itself affects the three unit more than anything else yeah and, and, and the that maintenance that, on that side of it so and they're the ones that have to look at it the other the people ones that, will just that's right 
see where it drops off and not really see the wall. So it makes sense, more sense anyway. Um, I know it's out of our purview, but obviously if you guys, if this company ends up building buildings, you know, we hope you pick something that fits within the character of the district. and Totally. We've already discussed that. Yeah, and if you sell it off, just relay that along. We've seen a lot of people show up here, and realtors somehow neglect to mention that it's in a historic district. So it's just a problem we've had in the past, not accusing you of it, but we just yep. like to We, we will make we sure can. that that's in the listing, whatever it is, that it's specifically in the historic district, and you need to come back to this commission uh, for plan review. Thank you. George? I just want to say I uh, appreciate the fact that everybody else is keeping the wall um, and not just taking it out of here and saying goodbye to it because that's part of the historic district. Uh, appreciate it, and I just want to say uh, I haven't seen Kevin in over 50 years, so it's good to see you. Um, <laughs> oh, don't, 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 don't date us like that, George. <laughs> but uh, thank you, and uh, we look forward to Great. seeing you come back. Thank you. Do we have any conversation further or any call? Uh, I'd like to make a motion to approve the application as submitted. Right. We have an we have a second from Richard. All right. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those opposed? All right. Motion passes. Thank you so much. Thank you. And also, thank you so much for the drawings. It's yeah, the drawings helpful. are very helpful. All right, next on the agenda, Victoria Burke is seeking a certificate of appropriateness for a porch removal on a property located at 34 Highland Street. Michelle. Yes, thank you. The applicant is requesting to demolish the existing rear porch. Wooden steps and patio area is proposed in place of the porch. Uh, there was some information in, my, in the memo about uh, previous applications that came before the historic district and this is ready to uh, for the board to discuss. All right, thank you. And would you like to give us more information? Um, no, I just um, uh, I want to take it down. It's beyond rotted, and the cost of having to repair it is more than I have. I don't have any money to have it all done. Um, so it's I don't think it's original. I submitted photos. I circled where there was an existing back roof on at one time I believe and the rest of it's sunken down so low um, and so just reviewing the costs and everything streamlining it giving myself more room in my yard because I barely have um, a yard it takes up a lot of space so economically um, this is the way I'd like to go all right thank you I will open it open it up to questions and comments do we have any from the board Uh, while they go, I will say, I, um, like I said, Tim did call out, but we did have a, a quick discussion on his opinion of this. Tim was not opposed to this because he agrees that he did not think that this was an original. So just to put that out there, that, that was Tim's opinion on this. Richard. Yeah, I was just noticing the, uh, the historic survey on it mentions that the porch is not original as well. So um. There's a historical survey? I didn't know. <laughs> Uh, so this will give you more information about your house, some different views, and uh, the integrity at the time when they did the survey. Okay. Thanks. And so looks like you'd be redoing the roof over that little entryway. Yeah, and, and those are late submittals, but uh, Justin got me those uh, pictures today, so I printed them out, and I figured yeah. I'd bring them in, and you could look at them. Yep. So just a simple landing with Very a roof simple. over it. Very simple, yep. Um, which is all going to be on the rear side basically you're not going to be able to see this very well from the road you anyway. won't unless you walk to the back of the house exactly. to use the back door and yeah I, I really don't have any concerns all right any other comments questions or concerns paul all right so are we approved sorry we're approving just the demolition or are we also improving the the new deck just the demolition okay unless this is anybody feels amenable to add to the application. This is for this, right? Yes, it is, yeah. but she brought those in to let us know what. Well, 
to be honest with you, if you could, if you wanted to approve them both, because, um, you know, in planning for this, I'm like, I better make sure I have everything, what's going to go in its place, and, and this and that. And um, then he sub he gave me those drawings today. We've discussed it, and the pr you know the price of doing it, everything's good to go. So if you need me to come back again, I can come back again. If you want to uh, add add on that, this is the plan. Do you, I think do you know the materials that are so? Is he rebuilt? Is that a new roof? Lot? He's gonna t he's got to take yeah. And one of the photos that I circled where the old roof is. That's got to come off. So he's just going to do a, a shed, shed Slope, yeah. across um, and supports, I think. Yes, yeah. So that he's going to take all of it down and going to start pretty much over. Yeah. And do you know the materials that he's planning to use for the decking? At, I'm going to make up some terms because I don't know the, the fascia or the, like the trim on the on the edge of the roof and then the like the actual um, column on the corner? Um, I'm sure it's, well, I don't have that information. <laughs> so I can tell you it's going to be wood. Yeah. It's going to be asphalt shingles sure. that will match. It will be like a dark charcoal gray. Mm -hmm. um, and we can um, do some basic posts. And and I had discussed reusing the floor that's there and kind of flipping it over. But bec if this gets approved, I'll have more funding and we can just start over and get new everything. So if you want me to come back again, I don't I don't mind. I'm Yeah, uh, I don't know. I defer to the rest of the, the group here. This is, I mean, in terms of drawings, we've approved <laughs> projects with less. less. <clears throat> so um, in terms of the intent, I think I understand the intent. And I don't have an issue with the intent. Um, and if the asphalt and wood is the materials being used, I don't have an issue with the materials either. So I defer to the rest of the board and how they want to, if they want to take that bite tonight as well. Um, I'll open it up to discussion on that, but I do have a quick question because I did give away my survey. What are the spindles um, at the front of the house? Are you going to mimic it? Because I'm the only reason I ask that is I don't want to see like just a four by four supporting it. I'd like to see something with a well, little bit more character. The thing is too, it's only a. Uh, 18 inches off the ground okay. and so it wasn't going to be you know we haven't got that far he gave me that sketch today um if i did use spindles like that i would i would match the front of the house um so uh now that i have it um i would rather just see a turn spindle um i don't necessarily care what type of turn because you have an italianate portico on the front i just feel like a four by four holding that up is just going to look a little out of place um you mean uh, a post or? Yeah, your post. The post. The post. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can do a Victorian post. We had already talked about that in the past. If you're talking about having something with some trim. Yeah. yeah. Cause that would be my only concern because I'm kind of with Paul on this. I don't think I would have a problem with the decking, um, the simple step, and the shed roof with an asphalt shingle. Um, hearing you're going to do a wood freeze around that. Um, I wouldn't have problems, but I'm curious what others think. My only co thought process would be that um, column. I would not want to see a, a square four by four, basically. I would want to okay. see something more turned or with okay. a little more character. I can do that. Any other comments? Kim? So I, I would agree with that. Um, and I, I just want to make sure. Yep, yeah, I'm on. <laughs> um, thank you. I would agree with that. I think that if we're going to approve this, we need to say that there's not going to be any PVC, that there's going to be fascia, fascia boards, that it's not going to be just a roof, that there's going to be a fascia board, um, that there's going to be a turn support post, and that any um, like open decking will be covered with and painted, because we have issues with painting, so painted, uh, covered, so that it's not just a, a random kind of shelf, I guess, is for lack of a better word. I feel like we need Tim to have a vocabulary here, but um, and that the roof will be asphalt that matches the asphalt that is already on the house, that it won't have any, um, that absent approval of the board, there will not be any non-wood components. So no plastic, no PVC, absent approval of the board. Does that sound accurate to what you've discussed? Yeah, if you, and you give me the notes, I'll give them to Justin and because we'll I. For me, it's more the decking, um, the tread where you're going to walk on the deck. You're not looking to do like an AZAC or a Trex board. You're looking no, to do it would, wood. No, it would, like the front here is pressure treated. What I, um, what my 
my thought was to reuse the wood that's already on it. Uh, where it's towards the house, it doesn't have any rot. I wanted to flip it and have stain, you know, the the, not the raw wood with like a uh, a stain and a varnish. But um, I can get it. Won't be Trex. It won't be Trex. Um, and if I have to paint it, then we'll just get wood and paint it. I think staining is fine. I just don't. We've had issues with bare wood. I, I'm taking note of all the things. Oh yeah, because it's. I mean, it's and it's going to still be exposed to the outside, so it's not something right. that I want to see brought away or painted, sealed, something within the yeah. within a year. Any further conversation, questions, concerns? Do we have any motions? Paul. Um, I I'm going to make two, I think this is a two motion. So the first motion would be to approve the demolition as proposed. I would second that. I'm going to say I can't do that because I only have one sheet. So this is more of an approval, and I'm fine if you want to do it in two parts, but I have to say it's approved with conditions if we're going to add something okay, to it. So, uh, so, so the, con the motion needs to have conditions. Okay, so the approve the demo as proposed and approve the construction of a new how do we describe this roof um Porch shed, shed roof, roof with asphalt shingles to match existing complete with wood all wood elements including a fascia decking step and turned baluster. Ba yeah, was like term, yeah, baluster. Call it column. and turned column to be painted or stained. I would second that. I think it's. I think your conditions are what I would request. All right, so we have a motion with a second for an approved application with um, conditions. Uh, demo approved as proposed. New shed roof to match existing with asphalt shingles. Sorry, I forgot that part. All wood elements, fascia, decking, step, turned wood column, no non-wood components, and all wood to be painted. Or stained. Or stained. Mm -hmm. Does that sound accurate to what you put forward and seconded? Yes. All right. Any other conversation? Seeing there is none, we will put this to a vote. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those opposed. All right. The motion passes with the addition. <laughs> Third time's a charm. Thank you, guys. Good thank luck you. with it. All right, thank you. It'll look gorgeous. He's the best builder. So thank you so much. And you, can, you guys will send me a copy of you'll, all those. You'll get a copy in the mail that'll actually list all of the steps that you have to take and what you need with your permit. All right, awesome. Thank you so much. Have thank a good night. Next on the agenda, Brant Adkins is seeking a certificate of appropriateness to construct a front porch addition on a property located at 24 Maple Street. Michelle. Yes, yeah, so I don't see the applicant here uh, tonight, so I'm wondering if we should uh, continue to the next uh, historic district meeting. I would move to continue because I, I have questions. I mean, I, some of the drawings look beautiful, but I have questions. I believe we cannot table unless we have something that we need from the applicant. Yeah. So I love hearing that you have questions. So we have to determine that if those questions are a tabling item. So can, can you be a little specific about those questions? I can. It looks like he's wrapping things in PVC. And anytime I see the word PVC, it concerns me. Okay, um, and I also want to make sure that the other board members weigh in. This applicant did come last month for a conceptual uh, design okay. review, and I believe we did tell him, keep me honest, 
that we were okay with PVC aspects. So I just, let's have a conversation before if there's any other questions that we do need the applicant for. Richard? No, I, I seem to remember mentioning composite materials such as PVC, so. Um, okay. However, if know, there are other questions that did not come up in that conversation. Yeah, no, I, I'm looking through the plans here and it looks like a couple different options for the skirting, if you will, underneath of it. So I'm, I guess I'm curious what route he's really going with that. I, I interpret it as, as one skirt and one is just showing the structure underneath. Okay. So the, the last page in our packet shows just the structure, the six by six posts mm. with anti-sway bracing. So that's just showing what's behind the skirt and then the skirt in the front looks like one by four PBC with three quarter inch gapping. Giving us a view behind the screen. Correct. Correct. <clears throat> just showing us the structure. So can I ask, did, did Tim agree that it could be vertical style lattice that was PVC? Oh, actually, we do have the applicant now. So we will have him come up so he can represent his project. Do I get ten seconds to catch my breath? You do. Sure. You can have 10 seconds. We'll continue our discussion and we will pose questions as they come up. Absolutely. All right. And before uh, we have you actually answer, we'll have you put your name on the record. But let's continue discussion yeah. so uh, this gentleman did show up last month as a conceptual review okay and you know we had a pretty lengthy discussion about potential ideas um he had mentioned maybe a straight slat vertical slat like this um you know even lattice work was mentioned but i think pete i think a majority of us liked the straight slat at the time obviously it's not a formal presentation this is um I don't object to the vertical slat. I like it. I just, we usually don't like PVC and on the vertical slat. We usually want wood as part of the vertical slat. I think uh, it depends on the project a lot yeah. of times because with skirting, it can get very um, hard because that is moisture and that tends to travel up wood. So um, I know in the past we have been a little bit more lenient on skirting specifically because of that. Yeah. But I think we are definitely opposed to more of a lattice type. And, and I, th I think the problem with the PVC is, is as long as it's not a high gloss, you know, it, they have different finishes to it. So if it has a texture to it that prevents it from being a high gloss, I, I think I'd be more in favor of it. Um, you know, I, I'd much rather see a durable material that's going to outlast because, unfortunately, some of the wood they sell nowadays are just the way it's farmed. It grows so fast it becomes very prone to rot. So I'm not opposed to some of the composites and you know, non-traditional materials as long as they look like they play the part of wood. Before we continue the discussion, I just want to be sure we did receive new drawings when we got here. This is the drawings you are submitting, not the ones that were included in our packet. Is that correct? Right. Well, just no. so we're discussing the correct drawing. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Sorry, I just didn't want to go down a wrong rabbit hole. So, all right. No, Thank I, you. I think I express most of what my concerns were and thoughts so open it up for other discussion or questions all right paul so the new the new elevations which i think do a good job uh showing the intent of the porch just remind me the um I, again i'm just going to make up terminology um portico the roof over the st over the door <laughs> i don't know what you call that um that's existing, right? We're not. That's not getting changed, but the columns are being updated to turned posts. Is that right? Yes. Would you like me to start from my beginning, or sure, it, where you're at right now? I'm not quite sure. Do you, well, I had do one, you want to ask your questions, and then we more. can have yeah, you give I had more. more? I had one more question. So the other thing is, this elevation um, doesn't show some of the historic uh, details of your home, which is, you know, I get the complications of trying to model that in a simple sketch, um, but remind us where that uh, trellis uh, roof, trellis in lieu of roof hits on the facade of the building. I'm just thinking particularly with the, shing the shingle that you have, I just wanna make sure there's not a conflict. 
Mm. In other words, is it going to hit over top of the window? Where's the line for that new roof? Is it coming straight across the top of the picture window? Well, let me let me take a moment and jump right in. And I apologize for being late. I was last on the agenda, and I figured half hour might be good. But this is in your package. Yep, this is we the have that. Existing, okay. uh, Yep, and they're beautiful. And, yep. And you may have to stay oh. close to the microphone. Yeah, we need you in front of the mic for home, so yeah. we can see you from there. We have that. It's it's, and I'm grateful for all the pictures you provided. Let me just say that I love the pictures. I love the drawings. Uh, yeah. Okay. The this picture shows the shake detail. Yep. One is this light blue above the, you know, the header to the windows, and that's about two and a half feet. Those are the originals. I painted it and I scraped every <laughs> edge in there because I didn't want to put plastic on. And it took me an awful long time. So putting the porch on, I'm taking that into consideration because I want that detail to show. Good. This is another shake feature right here. And they, they're not the same, they're done different different patterns and I save that throughout the entire building. I'm planning to put the trellis roof hooked to the white uh, trim board that's above the the windows okay. and I'm using I, I think I'm using uh, two by four um, pressure treated with the vinyl sleeve. All of my material is going to be structural vinyl and it's going to be, you know, maintenance uh, free. And that's why I came in last meeting to get that set so I could get my cost figures together. So I'm going to use two by four instead of two by eight or two by six on that roof. It, it's not carrying a load uh, per se, but there is a wind load <coughs> that needs to be included in there. And that's a structural issue in how it gets attached and everything. We are downsizing the recommended two by six minimum and using two by four just to keep off of the the, the special uh, shake trim there. So I've pre-thought about that and we do have the height. Um, so that is the attempt. There may be some field changes but that's what we're shooting for and we're shooting for two by four uh sleeved with a white vinyl the same as the posts and the and the railings okay oh, I think, sorry did you have more no that was just to address paul's question so paul did that kind of cover your question on that it did okay and then you had a question on the um columns did we answer that? Uh, I don't, I think he said yes. Okay. Let me just tell you about sure. all the structural members, meaning the posts, not columns, they're, they're architectural posts. Um, and they are a product that is one of the top of the line structural post vinyl. It's called Fairway. I put a picture of it in there it's not the greatest <laughs> picture and unfortunately <clears throat> um, I didn't think of taking color pictures of it before I gave it to the contractor so he has it in his hand and he's using that to order from and cost everything out um, let me just try to find where they are I, uh, I put a, a copy of uh, a receipt in there also that that has the specific part number, but they're they're fairway. It's like I said, top of the top of the line. This is a picture of the post. That's the shape I of it. The type of railing system that's going to be used <laughs> is the next page down, which is this right here. So the railing posts match 
the longer posts that go up to the, the trellis roof line and hold the uh, portico uh, roof in place. And the, the um, balusters in here match the posts. You know, they, they come as a set. Um, so I just want to give Kim a little more background in the conceptual design. I, I just want to make sure I point it out. Um, it is actually not a roof on this structure. It's a trellis that he's proposing. Uh, okay. Just in case, because I know we went around that quite a bit. So it, it does allow him a little bit more leeway for attaching because uh, it's not holding a load, like he said, or at least not for a roof structure. Thank you. That makes more sense to yeah. me. I couldn't fit a roof on there. And the... The purpose was to protect, you know, the the trim design, which I believe is a historic-looking feature to it, and it's the original, uh, to the best of my knowledge, because of the shape that it was in. <laughs> and um, so there was a, a lot of effort to to try to think through the best way to do it, and and uh, the trellis idea was the the simplest. And, and the reason is, is that it doesn't get a lot of sun. It gets morning sun, mm. and that's gone by 10 o'clock. So anybody that's going to really use that, unless they're retired, is going to maybe have breakfast out there. So it's just giving a little bit of shade factor, and it's giving some structural integrity to having a, a roof is at that type on there and uh, the longer posts. So... And there's a lot of changes. I had trouble doing the the, the first CAD design. I, I couldn't I couldn't get the four levels up to match. I couldn't get a few things in there. So the the contractor helped me, and we fixed some of those items, which is what I ended up bringing in uh, uh, today because we finally got it done. And so uh, that looks a little bit more uh, like it. The only thing is. Uh, one of the only things is uh, the vertical slats that you were talking about around the skirt, okay, are going to be slightly different than that. I still want to use vertical slats, but there's going to be a longer one alternating with a slightly shorter one. So there's going to be a little something, something in there that gives it a little bit of shape. The longer ones top to bottom will be four inches off the ground and be four inches from the, the, the uh, under the floor there'll be a fascia board finished face so it'll be four inches down from that and four inches off the ground the the alternating small one will be eight inches off the the, the fascia and eight inches off the ground so they'll you know, be up and down, up and down. It gives us a little shape. And another thing to note that you may not be aware of is this skirting will actually set back from the face of the deck. Oh. It'll be, actually sits it'll be eight to ten inches back. The deck's okay. going to be cantilevered over, okay. uh, over the sauna tubes. So um, it's going to be inset <coughs> the okay. same amount. Or okay, it's going to be attached to the the posts. That, that will be underneath, and they're going to be eight to ten inches uh, in from the edge okay. of the post. Okay. The trellis roof is also going to hang over uh, by about the same. I don't know exactly what it's going to be, but it it hangs over, and there's a little fingertip that goes on each of the sleeved uh, two by four uh, inserts, and. Gives it just a little bit of Character, more aesthetic yeah. look to it, and I I put pictures in there of of what those look like. Uh -huh. I I took a lot of pictures of trellis roofs that don't exist around here, but that's kind of the style. You did see those. Thank you. All right. Do we have any further questions for the applicant or any further discussion about this application? I'll just say, I think you addressed everything that came up in the concept review we did last month. Um, very happy to see these drawings. I know it is difficult sometimes, but it definitely helps with us when we're approving to understand exactly what we're looking at and what this is going to be looking like in the future. Um, 
I have no issue with this. I think it's going to look better than if we had a full enclosed porch there or even just a porch with an actual roof because I'm with you. I would hate to see that detail go away. Um, so I have no issue with this and I think you gave it a lot of thought, which I very much appreciate. Anybody else have any comments, questions? Richard? I, I think this came out very much like he was describing from the last time and now we just have the pictures to prove it. So I, I think it's well done. I think it fits well and I really don't have any concerns with approving this. I, I, can I add one more thing? The, um, neither of us could get the, the look, but there's going to be two posts under, under the, the portico roof that exists. Um, and the reason for that is there's an alignment problem and there'll be a, uh, a new fascia that's put over underneath uh, the roof edges. There's the the stairs are um, centered off the door. They weren't centered <coughs> off of this portico roof. And the reason why it's not centered off is because this window actually is the peak couldn't fit under that window. The, this window's a little closer over this way, about two feet. And so uh, we're going to end up, the edge of the stairs actually sit over a little bit further from that post. So there's going to be um, uh, the longer post that goes up to the portico, and then there'll be a smaller post next to it, and then that'll go with the railing and attached to the to the building and the same thing is on on this side right here um, the the railings along the top of the new porch have got to cut over this will be on the edge of the brick and then there'll be a another smaller post right there we just couldn't get it in there so you're gonna have Two full posts to go up to the existing roof. Uh, that hold up the portico. And then there's going to be on, two on more side. that hold up the but portico. Be smaller. Okay. So, but there's still one that goes up to the yes. portico. Yes. Not the portico, but the, the trellis. Right. Yes. So, so there's really going to be four that go from the deck to the overhead structure. There's going to be three that are on the new deck. And two on the existing roof, so a There'll total of five a, that are full length. A, a shorter post on the new deck, because what you're not seeing is it, the deck comes out further than the than the landing of the top of the stairs. It it cuts back ninety degrees, yeah, about three feet. Yeah. So, so when, when we say short, another post there that'll attach to the to the taller post that's holding up the portico. Yeah, so when we say shorter, we're just saying shorter by inches, not shorter as in like waist height. No, shorter by waist height. So what's holding it'll up? Be, it'll be... There's it'll different be ones holding up post. the portico. Okay. It's where I think you're... Yeah, but there's still ones holding up the portico. Yes. And they'll still be round to match the yes. ones that hold up the roof. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yep. Okay. I'm understanding it then. I just... Yeah, you've got some half-length ones as well that only go to the railing. Right. I got it. All right, any more comments, questions, or any motions? Richard? I'll make a motion to approve it as presented. Second. My only question is, does anybody feel like we need to make a, a, a caveat that the skirting is going to be a varied height, just so that doesn't come back? Because it's not shown in the picture. Correct. Exact. Fair enough, I can... Amend your motion. Yes, I'll, I'll amend my motion to, as presented with the the vertical slats of the skirting alternating in length nice. or height, size by several inches. So they're going to be scribed to the ground, or are they purposely going to be up, down, up, down, up, down? It's going to be up, down, up, down, up, down. They'll be all the same length. So they'll, so, so they'll actually alternate. They're the same length, they just alternate 
one sits a little higher, the other sits a little lower. So on the fascia board, you'll see the top, every other one's a little shorter, but okay. at the bottom, it does the same thing. Right, I so. could do a real simple stick figure sketch for you. If you want. No, I, I get it. I, okay. uh, and is that a historical detail? <laughs> I'm not familiar with that. It's not. I think it just gives a little bit more of a... a interest. Interest, I, style. I was actually... Not, not that... Well, I don't know. The, I did it on a house I built in Northampton. And, the, you know, the, the planning board liked it. They hadn't seen anything like that. But it looks very attractive. Yeah. I've had a lot of good It's just like adding it. those architectural elements, you know, scrolls yeah. here. I, I, I think of shingles. Sometimes yeah. they do the same thing with cedar shake shingles. They'll all, you know, have two or three different levels in a row. Mm -hmm. I just kind of think of the same thing with this. Okay, so I just want to make sure for those uh, putting the motion forward and seconding it that I'm getting this captured. So I'm going to say approved as presented with drawings dated 620, which are the gray ones we got when we entered the meeting. Um, and then the only condition is the vertical slats alternating in height alignment are approved. Yeah. Okay. Does that sound accurate for both the putting the motion forward and seconding? Yes. All right. All those in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 All those opposed? <coughs> All right, motion passes, and we're just putting that, it's what you're presenting, but because it wasn't represented, we just wanted to put that in there. If, if you want, I could draw a little. No, not needed at, by any means. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, next on the agenda, workshop business. Um, anybody would like to talk about the workshop business from prior to the meeting? I, I can take it. Um, so we had a, a workshop um, before tonight's meeting to look at a mock-up we got for our proposed uh, historic district plaques that we are partnering with the Summersworth Historic Museum Society with. And uh, we are going to go back with a few notes um, and to have a few tweaks done, but we are moving forward. And once we have those changes made, we will have another workshop. Um, that's all I have. Any other workshop business? I think it went well. Okay. All right, seeing there is none, we will move on to communication and miscellaneous. Any communication or miscellaneous tonight? Um, when we follow up with the applicant on Highland Street, we maybe consider sending her the spec that we just approved on the Stillman's house because she might be looking for one. Oh, what a great idea. We right. should use the same stuff. At least, at least we'll give her an option of, where, of something that was recently approved. Right. Any other communication or miscellaneous? Dean, is, there are none. Do we have any further motions? Motion to adjourn. All right. Second. We have a motion to adjourn and second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. We are adjourned. Thank you.